Now, salt is bad for us because over evolution, if we start from our ancestors, we need to appreciate that um, at the time um, of hunter-gatherer societies, so thousands of years ago, our ancestors were living very well and healthily, uh, as far as cardiovascular disease is concerned, with less than one gram of salt per day. And there are still some populations in the world right now, in the Amazon jungle, which have been studied very well, called the Yanomamo Indians, who survive with less than 0 0.1 gram of salt per day. Okay? So the fact is that low salt is not compatible with life is wrong and is fake. Okay? Because we have populations today. Now, obviously, during evolution, things have changed a lot. Our diet has changed. And now we have an enormous amount of salt in our food. The problem is that that increase in salt has led to a number of uh, um, ill health conditions. And mainly is through the fact that high salt eventually leads to a rise in blood pressure. It's been very well demonstrated in migrant societies in rural areas. They migrate to uh, urban areas where their salt increases in their diet and their blood pressure goes up and their cardiovascular mortality goes up as well. So there is plenty of evidence to suggest that the higher the salt we eat, the greater the blood pressure and the cardiovascular disease. But more importantly, that if we do reduce that salt intake, we do revert that problem so the blood pressure goes down and the cardiovascular mortality goes down. So it's not a one-way system, but it's a two-way system. So now in public health, we want to reduce this unnecessarily high salt intake because it's proven that that will reduce not only blood pressure or high blood pressure, and think about the number of people with high blood pressure taking drugs, costing the healthcare system a lot of money. That would be reduced. But more importantly, a lot of people will have a reduction in stroke rates, even in the range where they usually wouldn't use tablets for blood pressure. And that will lead, as we, it's been estimated, at least in Britain, that for every gram of salt reduction in the diet, we would avert roughly about a thousand cardiovascular events, fatal and non-fatal, uh, in the country every year. 